Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the new mod showcase. I bet every single person thought we wouldn't get mods today. Well, surprise, Giants actually gave us new mods today. Today, new mods. We have eight new ones to go over and six new updates to go over. Remember, before we get to that new mods, make sure to hit that like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now, roll that intro and let's see some new mods. Welcome back. Okay, so here we got that first new mod for today, and it is the John Deere AMT 600 from Sloosh Modding. It is 4.12 megabytes, and this is an all platform mod. The AMT 600 was the first utility vehicle actually built by John Deere in 1987. So let's see, it has 23 horsepower variable CVT, 20 liters of fuel, 32 miles per hour, holds 850 liters, 1.1 tons. It is $8,650. Uh, you can change the wheel setup either from standard. We have the John Deere Bag AMT, which adds an extra $800, and then back to there. So let's get this one real quick. Let's go ahead and buy it. Let's take a look at it in game. Very small. It'd be a very good yard. Uh, What's it? Tractor? Okay, utility vehicle. That's what it is. Utility vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and get on it. <laughs> okay, here is interior. Let's see. Lights. Looks like just one light. Does it have a turn signal? No, it does not. Okay, let me bring up the menu. Gonna be quiet so you guys can hear that engine. Not bad engine. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and turn that engine back on. You can, ooh, that's neat. So I'm holding the L1 and using the right stick. You can actually remove that. It disappears. Okay, R1 and right stick, tip. Of course, it's got tension belts. And then you got unload here, which does that. Okay. Top speed is 32 miles an hour. And it is not going to hit it that fast. Definitely take some wide turns on this one. So let's actually, I'm going to go ahead and fill this thing up real quick just to see it. So let's stop right here. Pretty good brakes. Uh, let's put some sorghum in there. There you go. 850 liters. Bought that for 913. Let's see how much I can sell this thing for. It actually sells pretty fast too. This would be good for like, you know, using it for animals and stuff. Made $500, so I actually lost like 400. Okay, but anyways guys, that right there is the AMT 600 from Sloosh Modding. Next, we're not done with Sloosh Modding. His next one is the John Deere 56 from Sloosh Modding. 3.31 megabytes, this is an all platform mod. The John Deere 56 lawnmower is small, but very efficient for your farm. Let's see, 23 horsepower manual transmission, 10 liters of fuel, nine miles an hour. Let's see, 138 kilograms, one working meter. It is $850 and there is no options on this one. So let's go ahead and get it real quick. Ooh, that's a very, very small lawnmower. Okay, uh, I don't think there's really much options on this thing. Uh, let's just go ahead and turn it on. Yeah, top speed is nine miles an hour. So let's go ahead and cut some grass and see how this thing is. Unless you got the lower part. Um, that looks like about it. See, this is why I think mappers, when they, you know, make their farms, they need to have the grass actually growing on, you know, around the house and stuff. So we can use lawnmowers like this. Let's go right out of here. Wow, the grass looks really big compared to this lawnmower. Okay, let's turn that on. Actually, not bad. The sounds are not bad on it. Turning radius ain't bad. Hmm. So that right there, guys, is the John Deere 56. I actually had to crouch to get it into the picture. Next new mod we have is the Lab Rotel Front X Pack from Fred Modding, 30.62 megabytes. This is a PC only mod. The fixed front or rear stubble cultivator for stubble cultivation. It features, let's see, a three meter to a four meter fixed with disc and tines. Uh, so we can actually go ahead and see these. These are 4,000 all the way up to 8,000. 
let's see, three meters all the way up to four working meters. Uh, let's see, let's go to this one right here. You got the default configuration. You got the roller right back there. And then back to default, let's go to the bigger one. You have default and then the roller on that. So you're gonna need at least a tractor that goes either between 130 all the way up to 140 horsepower. So that right there is the Le Brotel. Next mod we have is the Lizard Disco Tass 3000 from Puzzcap. Let's see, it's 4.98 megabytes. This is an all platform mod. Let's see, it does require 60 horsepower, three working meters, it is 8,500. You got warning signs, no or yes. Uh, main color, you either have, looks like orange, red, blue, white, or grays on that. And the same thing with the design color, which changes those rollers right there. So that right there is a roller. Then to that one, we have a mod that I'm probably gonna butcher the name. This is the Girardi CTH 100 from Thomas Nine, uh, yes, Thomas Nine Six. It is 2.90 megabytes. This is a PC only mod. This implement was built by Girardi SRL during the 1990s and the early 2000s. It is used for tractors without a lift. So if you need a lift, here it is. Uh, you got color. You got red, white. You got red. You got blue and red. Lights blue and orange. Water green, and then back to red, white. Uh, let's see, with attachments, you got 40, 50, 80, 85, 90, and then back to there. Let's see, type attached, you got skull, original, quick, and then back to there. Front attachment height, you got high, you got medium, you got low, and then back to there. So that right there is the CTH 100. We're actually getting through these pretty fast. Now, the next back to that one we have is the Gallows. This is from Agri Design Modding, 0.91 megabytes. This is an all platform mod. Uh, this stem will be used to move your trailers. It is $1,000. So pretty much what you do is you hook this up like a telehandler, and then you can actually move trailers around your farm. Okay, then after that one, we have the placeable guardrail from Top Ace 888. This is 0.15 megabytes. This is a all platform mod. This is a paintable guardrail for build mode. It's like uh, pretty much like you're putting down the fence. In addition, there are two different end pieces. The guardrail has a fixed length of two meters. So that's pretty neat right there. Uh, let's go over and find it real quick. You go under there, go under decorations, you go under fences. And then at the very end, you have these. You have the guardrail, you have the guardrail in left, and the guardrail in right. So like, uh, let's see, this one, um, I think I need this one right here. So put it like, let's see if I can click on that. Okay, let me try to use my mouse, see if that works better. Okay, I'm probably gonna mess this up. Okay, for some reason it's not working for me. Oh, there we go. See, there's the end right there. See, and then you can put another end right here. See, look, there you go. And then the regular one, you just sit there and there we go. So that right there is the guardrail. I actually like this, it's pretty neat. Okay, we got one more new mod to get to and let's get to it real quick. Okay, now the last new mod we have for today is this one right here. This is full refund. This is a PC only mod. What this does, your placeable items never decrease in value. This mod changes the sell price of your placeable items. Get back 100% of your, uh, basically the base value when you sell it, no matter how old it is. So you put down a fertilizer tank, uh, say you wait two or three years and you want to sell it, you get that same price back for it that you bought for it. So that right there, guys, is all the new mods for today. Let me know in the comment section below which one was your guys' favorite. Now let's go over those updates we got. Okay, so the first update we have for today for all platforms is the Lindy 7 Series SWB. What changed in this one? Original wheel weights have been added, new color option has been added, new sound details has been added, new details has been added, grid bugs has been fixed, minor bugs have been fixed, and the front axle animation has been removed. Then next, we have an update for the Carrera Tractors Compact VLB75 from Pepe978. What changed in this one? Decals fixed and front axis fixed. Then we have an update for the Pinnacle 6x4 Tanker from Farm Mods TV. What changed in this one? Rear light removed and turn on vehicle was removed. Then the next update is the brochured pack. What changed in this one? Normal map fixed, auto aim target fixed, color configuration fixed, side markers fixed, attach a joined BG2265MC fixed, and added cover configuration. Then the next update we have is for the sawmill from Zotozaka. What changed in this one? Sea containers filled with wood can now be dropped off here. I think they meant platinum. Also, the platinum expansion compatible long boards and beams can now be produced there. 
And then the last update we have for today is for the small shed. Change log on this one says new shed added, price is $10,000 for it, and daily cost is $20 a day. Well, right there was all the new mods for today. Not a bad Thursday, actually. Kind of surprised we actually got some mods at like, what, about 12.30 p.m. my time? That's actually kind of strange. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite mod out of the new mods today. I'm either going to have to say either the John Deere AMT 600 for me or that riding mower. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have a release date unless, of course, it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farming Simulator. And make sure that notification bell is on so you never miss any of the videos here on the channel. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you.